Okay, so we finally made it up here to Virginia City. Actually, we're up here at Gold Hill, uh, which is right next to Silver City that we just passed through. And behind me is the infamous Yellow Jacket Mine. Now, for any of you people who aren't aware of it, this uh, particular mine um, went down a little over 3,000 feet. Uh, there was a huge complex of buildings here. There was four boilers in the background there that you can't see because they've all been removed. But what makes this mine distinguishable from the others is that they had a really, really bad fire. And uh, 35 men lost their lives down below and the fire burnt for over a year. They, they kept smoldering in the timbers. Anyway, um, they uh, sealed up the shaft 100% and there's not even a hole there anymore. Uh, but this is the infamous Yellow Jacket Mine in Gold Hill. Um, the railroad is right up there above us. And uh, right behind us here is the two miner cabins that you can rent. Now there's, uh, they're labeled 18 and 19. Now come here, I'm going to show you number 19. Okay, so behind me is the Crown Point Mine, and it produced millions of dollars in gold and silver as well. Now over here, it might look like a big pile of dirt, but actually that's where the Crown Point trestle used to sit. Huge, huge trestle. And uh, of course they tore it out back in the 30s for the lumber, and then in the 80s a mining company came in here and stripped mine back behind here, and then they used this big valley, this gorge here, to backfill all the dirt that they were getting out of the mine. Now, of course at one time it was a beautiful sight to see, but of course it's been gone since the 30s, so there's nothing left. Um, but we're gonna keep venturing up uh, into Virginia City, and uh, I'll try to point out some of the mines that are there, and give you a little bit of history, so stay tuned. 